Nashville, Tennessee, a place where Southern hospitality meets big city excitement, a place where good music is born and great food is expected. It's the home of titan-like dreams and unlimited opportunity. Nashville is the music city, and it's where we find Mr. Teremy T. Banks. T. Banks is a Kappa man, a family man, a venue owner, an international promoter, a successful Nashville area realtor that has sold a lot, and we mean a lot of homes. But most importantly, T continues to serve others through his community service efforts. Now we meet up with T Banks at his annual Glen A. Fleming Golf Tournament, where he put down his cane for a nice set of golf clubs and the opportunity to bring golfers together to help raise awareness and money for his philanthropic program, T Banks Toys. Grown and Green TV, this is Faith Frazier on location here in Nashville, Tennessee with Mr. T. Thanks. I got to Nashville from, from originally from Greensboro, Alabama. Alabama boy. Um, that's right. And I uh, came in with school at Vanderbilt. And once uh, I got here, graduated, I went back and did my master's. And uh, fast forward two kids later, I have a lounge downtown called Agenda. Uh, my day job is my mom calls my real job. I'm a real estate agent. And I've been doing that 12 years. Uh, and I also do investments in properties and I do property management. So I do a lot with real estate. Nashville right now is one of the top cities in the country. I think top five cities uh, in the country as far as real estate is concerned. It's estimated that between 80 to 90 people are moving to Nashville a day. So the fact that I've been doing Nash uh, real estate for the last 12 years, I kind of got my feet wet. So I'm doing really, really well. But again, it's because of the people in Nashville supporting me. Uh, I get a lot of referrals. So people that I sold houses to nine, 10 years ago are sending me people today that may be moving here. Actually, my last client that we just closed, a guy moved here from San Francisco. Had never been in Nashville, called me and heard about me, and uh, we got him done. So uh, I'm blessed to be in a good situation, a great real estate market and something that I love doing. A couple years ago, I started the whole philanthropic uh, events trying to raise money for charity. Mm -hmm. So it has gone really, really well. The community has just jumped on board with me uh, with my toy drive and tournaments like today. And uh, people just support. So as long as people are supporting these efforts, I'm just gonna keep on doing it. It's very time consuming. Uh, it's a headache. Uh, <laughs> it's a headache. But when you see the smiles on people's faces uh, from the results, from the monies that are raised from these events, it makes it all work. So today we're here for the Glen Glen A. Fleming Golf Tournament. Correct. So can you talk about um, how that started? And uh, yes. The reason why you're doing it and yeah. why it's important to you. Glen Fleming it was one of my frat brothers in Nashville alumni. And his son, he passed uh, four years ago. And uh, his son, Derek Fleming, who's also a capo, uh, he and I were talking. I just called to kind of talk to him as I was close to his dad. His dad was an avid golfer. Well, fast forward, four months later, my dad passed. Oh, wow. So he and I, we would just go out to relieve stress. We just play golf together. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had already done a tournament when his father was living. His dad was the chairman of the committee. So we was like, you know what? We're going to keep doing this in your dad. And so that's how it kind of began. And so half the proceeds go strictly to the scholarships. That's where half goes. And the other half goes to my toy bag. Okay. So we don't have any administrative fees or anything like that. All the staff and the people that help uh, are volunteers, so we don't have any fees. 100% of what people give uh, actually goes right back in the chair. Oh, wow. Uh, and Derek and I were just talking. We didn't even realize until last year our dads actually had the same birthday. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like a divine intervention that he and I kind of linked up. Yeah. Like, man, we got to let this thing live on about our dad. So that's a great way to give back. And it's fun because like, we love golf, so. It's just a great way to give back. So uh, tell us a little bit more about the toy drive that you do during wow, the Wow, yeah. Season. The toy drive, I'll do that in December. And that started as seven years ago with me just grabbing two angels off an of angel tree in Kroger. Saying, that's going to be my way to give back. The following year, uh, I just decided, hey, I'm going to get you know four or five more. Mm -hmm. Well, after that, I was like, you know what? This thing is getting bigger. I knew of a, a young lady named Nike Morrell. She was doing uh, a toy drive as well. I was like, wait a minute. Why don't we team up and just see what we can do? So year three, we did about 75 people. Year four, we got up to 100. And this past year, the six year, families come out. They give us a wish list of the kids. Uh, now it's not just a toy drive. What we do is we have to come to the community center. We play games with the kids, face painting. Uh, we provide dinner for everyone. Mm -hmm. And then at the end is when Santa comes out and whatever wish list she gave us, we bring out all the toys and bring out all the bikes. So 
Um, I think this past year was very stressful because you got all these different lists, but I won't stop because a dad walked into me at the end of last year had just lost his job. Uh, so it was just a rough time for them. And so he's like, man, if it wasn't for what you're doing, my kids would have no Christmas. So you, you think that, okay, it's just some toys, but I think you don't realize what people are going through, that a toy to put a smile on somebody's face, how big of a difference it actually makes. So um, we raised close to almost $7,000. My goal was four, but people kept giving, kept giving, kept giving. So we just kept buying, kept buying, kept buying. Uh, so as long as the funds were there, whatever they wanted, I mean, I would put kids in my bike, I mean, in my truck, and take them to Walmart and tell them to pick out whatever bike they want. Like, that's just how much money the city of Nashville, people from, my sister's way out in Seattle, she sent money in. So uh, it, it was amazing that how the uh, community just jumped on board with it. Like, I didn't intend, that was not the intent point to get as big as this guy. But when I'm walking in Target with, with my son to get some batteries, and people say, hey, are you the guy doing the toy drive? Hey, here's a hundred dollars. I told like, you with a man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's, it's grown really, really big, and uh, man, I'm just blessed to be able to be in a situation that, that, that God can bless others for me. So, as far as the toy drive, we, we understand that you're doing the golf tournament, but as far as the toy drive, how can especially your frat brothers mm -hmm. get involved with what you're doing here in Nashville? You, you said it, it's open to anybody yeah. that, that wants to do it, but tell us, you know, how. For people that want to be involved, we, uh, once the funds are the day, we'll see where we are, how much we raise from the day. We still have donations coming in, um, and then we'll set a goal for the fall. And my, the website is T-Banks Toys. It's T-E-E-B-A-N-K-S Toys. All my contact information is on there. Uh, I tell people I'm famous, you just Google me. Just Google T-Banks. Uh, <laughs> you going to admit this before this interview is over, T-Banks. Hey, just hit me up. And um, the biggest thing is time. You know, we need people to help us shop. You know, you gotta get bags to put the toys in, you know, get water, food, chairs, all the stuff for the event. Uh, it's very time consuming. So we got a lot of volunteers, but we always need help getting stuff together. Mm -hmm. well, cool. So T-Banks Toys, T-Banks Homes. T-BanksHomes.com, that's my real estate. Uh, that's my, my go-to, uh, you know, uh, agenda, Nashville. Downtown Nashville. Downtown Nashville. So if you want to unwind, you go to Agenda. Yeah. And then if you ever you like to travel, you know, if you like international travel, you can always go to recessgetaways.com as well. Okay, you got it. <laughs> fill them in, T. Fill them in. Fill them Recess in. Getaways is another company I'm a part of, affiliated with nine guys from around the country. And now uh, we do international travel for like-minded professionals. So uh, when you get a chance, check out Recess Getaways. I like to travel. So I stay busy. Uh, Where's the next like trip? Do. Next trip, next year we're going to DR. Okay. So anyone that wants to hop on board, it's going to be June 14th to 18th. Uh, we're, like I said, we're looking for professionals from around the country. We're expecting close to 2,000 people to take advantage of this trip from networking. So if you're not bored and you know, if you are bored and sitting around the house and want to travel and, and meet some professionals from around the country, recessgetaways.com. So the, the, the burning question, really, I mean, we've talked about the business and talked about what you do, but how is your golf game? Uh, right now I'm at a, a seven handicap, so uh, depends on what day it is, how well I play. But I've, I've won some tournaments around, around. Uh, but right now I'm at a you, seven handicap. You have trophies to prove it. Oh yeah, yeah. Trophy cases, trophy cases, sick. Trophy cases, sick. As a matter of fact, as soon as this is over, I'm gonna join my team, and uh, we're gonna try to bring home the trophies. Uh, they're gonna be mad with me for winning my own tournament. A little competition out there today, <laughs> right. but I, I think I can pull it off. Uh, well, shout out to Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated. Your brother, T Banks, here in Nashville, Tennessee. He's the man. So, yeah, look him up. Definitely support Grown and Greek TV. I'm Faith Frazier, and I'm out.